Hi, Dr. Mark Uridel here with a manual technique video. Keep in mind, this is a demonstration of the practical application of information in a related course. I recommend that you take a hands-on workshop to learn these techniques in more detail before applying them. Enjoy! Now let's take a look at the plantar fascia anatomy. Here you see the plantar surface of the foot. Here you can see the origination of the plantar fascia on the calcaneus tuberosity. Inserting the head of the metatarsals. This strong fascia helps to support the medial arch. Usually, palpation here, right at the insertion of the plantar fascia in the calcaneus, is where plantar fasciitis is most prominent. So, digital pressure here will often re will often show pain. As far as techniques, deep thumb glides in the plantar fascia, usually toward the heel to create slack toward the heel. Release the pressure. Plantar fasciitis pain is mainly caused by the tension in the plantar fascia. So this deep release work releases that tension. You can also use cross fiber friction to spread the fibers of the plantar fascia. You can also use deep longitudinal friction along the fibers, again, to create a release of the plantar fascia. And finally, deep pressure using pretty deep thumb pressure into the plantar fascia, again to create a release. You can also do an on stretch of the plantar fascia and work some of these same techniques. Basically by pulling that toe back creating a stretch, and then also working it. 